Hi, my name is Corey, and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. In today's video, I'd like to talk about changing your sketch color. So first off, why would you want to change your sketch color? Well, a good reason to change your sketch color would be like in this particular example that we're going to go over. I have a sketched image, which is represented by sketched one here, and it's a black image. Well, my trace of this image, which is sketch two, is also black. So I really can't see where I've already traced, and so I want to change that. And so the easiest way to do this is to change my sketch color. Now you may notice if I enter into sketch two and edit this sketch, it's blue. So it looks like it'll work. I'm like, well, blue is perfect. Well, that's because this is an underdefined sketch. As soon as I exit out of this sketch, SolidWorks is of course going to change that to black. So I want to change this to a blue or a red or something so I can actually see where I've traced being outside my actual sketch. So what I'll do is I'll edit sketch 2, right click on the sketch 2, go to sketch color, and I can quickly change to a blue or a red. I can click the green check mark to accept, or if I wanted a very specific color, I can make it in these color properties options. But I'm going to stick with my standard red, click the green check mark, and now my trace is in red. So I can clearly see what I've traced on that original sketch picture. Now what I also like to do is notice my sketch picture is the only thing here inside sketch one. And I like to place this in its own separate sketch. That way when I'm all done with the project, it makes it really easy to come in here, right click on sketch one, delete it, and click accept. And now it's as if that traced image was never there. So in this video we covered how to change the color of your sketches in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching and look for more videos from Hawkridge Systems.